Hi guys, welcome to the video. So here we are, we're going to do an air filter change on the Audi A4. Uh, this is one of the last of the B7s. It's a 2009 plate, but I believe they're all the same for most of the engines in the range. So your air filter is going to be under here. Uh, this is one I got from Europarts, got it for about $12.99, so it weren't too bad. I was going to go for a K&N, but a bit of a nightmare and trying to get hold of it. So we're going to start off with moving two screws here and then we can remove this part of the air intake so just using a phillips screwdriver if you've got an impact driver it might be a bit quicker obviously don't lose your screws put them somewhere safe screws removed you can literally just pull it from underneath there now that mine's just coming off straight away so relatively easy Let's just lift it off. And then we've got another two just at the top there. So let's get those out. These two screws literally just undo, they won't come out. So you just get to a certain point and then you know you've got enough room. So now for the fiddly bit. Probably a good idea to remove the connector there. I think this just pulls up. No, there's little clips on there. Sometimes you can squeeze them. Probably need a flatted screwdriver just to lever that off. So in order to give you the leverage you need to open this up, you're gonna have to remove this engine cover. So you've just got three little plastic caps to remove and then there's going to be a 10 mil nut underneath just to take this off it's a bit of a ball lake really for a little silly job but there you go so you've got them to remove take those nuts off and then this cover you can remove so a little 10 mil socket wrench under these little nuisances probably better just to do them finger tight as long as you don't get a vibration from the cover that's generally enough because it's probably going to come off again okay well those three undone you should be able to just lift this off now no problems the uh, the little nuts and um, spacers will stay in there so just leave them don't lose them and now we should have enough leverage somehow to get that off okay just undo this pull the pipe off and then hopefully that's the only thing securing the uh, air intake box and obviously we'll unplug this and then it should lift out it seems to be the easiest way okay so undone the screw this comes off there's a little plastic ping there leave that out with a flat edge screwdriver Again, don't lose it and then hopefully this will lift out it's gonna be a two-round job okay so it's been a bit tricky because I've got this metal plate on the back so I couldn't just pull it to the side and um, get the distance to open this up to get the filter out I've had to pull it up lift it up and you can hear two little things pop out and now there should be enough leverage hopefully to get this air filter out there you go that's a bit easier isn't it so let's see how bad it is don't look that bad to be honest with you but i've got a new one anyway so give it a clean inside as much as possible and um, put a new filter in so obviously it come out that way um, and that's the way the new one's going to go in i'm going to get a little brush or something give that a clean before i put the new filter in filters in old filters there uh, and you can just sort of see uh, in front of the silver plate there is actually like a, a hole and then there's one to the left of that really difficult to see so that's where it's going to push fit back into uh, and you can see like little arms on the cover each side so we'll just make sure they tuck underneath and obviously that create the seal and then do the screws back up so I'm going to jiggle this around, get it in position 
and go from there. So yeah, you can see the little arms locked in down there underneath. Uh, screws are lined up, they cause a bit of ag because they're dipping down. Um, but it's ready to be screwed back in now. And then we'll push fit it back in place. Okay, so we've got the pipe back on, nice and snug. Right up to the, uh, the border there. I'll secure the screw in a second. Got this little pin in place. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, also there was two little pins for this cable to sit into and one there as well. So I'll make sure everything's all good as it should be. Nothing touching any hot metal plates or anything as such. And they were ready to get the uh, rest of the air intake put back in position and the cover, which I didn't need to remove. We're just putting the bits back together, cover back on, three little nuts, a little bit awkward to line up. Um, doing the front part first, get these screws in, and then I can just secure the second bit in, and it's uh, job done. But I'm gonna be doing other videos because it seems a bit of a pain in the ass to work on these cars, especially for bulbs. So it looks like possible headlight removal, um, and I would probably recommend doing all the bulbs in one it just to save you the egg if you do one and then you've got to take the bloody lights out again because um, look at the space you've got to work with there's like nothing be like the air filter coming out again um, maybe access to here is not too bad but the rest of it uh, the headlights got to come out so they just seem a bit aggy the way they've been built but there you go every car has its quirks so uh, subscribe to the channel more videos coming uh, especially on this one